1929, in this building behind us, there was a young 49-year-old lawyer from Plymouth who was an EMP for Plymouth, and he introduced one of the first legal aid acts in history, and he said these words, a prisoner who is without means ought to be in no worse position to establish his innocence than a prisoner who is able to pay. His name is Isaac Foote, he happened to be my great-grandfather. Grayling is the antithesis of my great-grandfather. He believes that only rich people should have decent representation. Everybody else can have crap representation, only rich people can have decent representation. And my great-grandfather would be turning his grave to know that it is a coalition today again that is supporting Grayling in that project. This is not about money. When they say they can't afford legal aid, how can they afford a 10% pay rise for MPs? How can, how can it be that the two expert reports that Grayling has called on do not support his project? We have to fight even to get to see them. And basically we all know that the cuts have already been made already with the last round. This is about ideology. This is an ideological attack. It has been from the beginning. You only have to look at the JR proposal. This is picking on the most vulnerable in society, the most needy, the homeless, young children, asylum seekers, will all be denied access to the courts, denied access to challenge the courts. That's what this is about. And it's also about handing over our public services to G4S. Anything he can find to hand to G4S, he does. Probation, the courts, the tagging system, what a wonderful success that was. And he wants to do it with legal aid. I'm working on a case at the moment representing the family whose son died in a G4S prison. And they did a wicked thing at the G4S prison. They rang up another family and told them that their son had died. A really wicked thing. Somebody who hadn't died, they said, your son has died. That's the sort of services we would get in the court if the G4S take over legal aid. You could turn it up to court to people who don't care, who don't even know people's names. Now, this is a wonderful sight from up here. I never thought in my lifetime I would see lawyers uh, going on strike, taking action, whatever you call it. I never thought I would see it in my lifetime. I never thought I'd see solicitors and barristers come together in this way. On the 6th of January, we had the first half day action in history of barristers and solicitors and today we have the first one day action in history of solicitors and barristers. Now I just want to wrap up with a few, a few things. We need to do more obviously. There's a petition out there sponsored by Joanna Lumley. It needs to be spread far and wide and we need to get it up to 100,000. We also today, we're passing the Mid Dem headquarters. We're going to hand in the testimonials from a hundred organisations who are opposed to these cuts. Uh, charities, unions, professional organisations, campaigns. And Paddy Hill is going to deliver that for us in order to see if we can wake up Mr. Clegg and Mr. Hughes, who have probably done the biggest sellout in history if he goes along with these proposals because previously when we delivered that document he said he was opposed to most of this stuff. So all, I think everybody here can think of a way of expressing their shame as we pass the Lib Dem headquarters and then we can make lots of noise at the Ministry of Justice. But it seems clear to me this is a wonderful day that this man is not going away and we have to be brave in the next three weeks. We have to take more action we have, uh, one day is not going to be enough to see off this man. And I want to finish with the words of the, of the uh, finest poem in history, uh, Shelley's Mask of Anarchy, to give us some inspiration. He was talking about the Peterloo, Peterloo Massacre, and it was a whole poem attacking a dreadful, vicious Tory government of the day. Rise like lions after slumber, in unvanquishable number. Shake your chains to earth like you, which in sleep have fallen on you. 
These are the t-shirts of which we have a few left for you to buy down to the left. We're shortly going to be joining, uh, starting the march which is going to progress.